I was asked how you put um, letters in for a name. Bear in mind that you can only um, have up to nine uh, motives patterned in a row. So um, maximum of nine names. The first thing you need to do is to draw your you name need to out. draw it in reverse because as you are looking at your knitting as it's coming down you're seeing the reverse side so you need to reverse it um, like this when you input it next look in the back of your stitch world book where you've got various uh, letters in various fonts up to quite fancy ones right we enter um letters and patterns um, as per normal into pattern positioning sorry this is so faint but the lighting in here is not good um, select the pattern the stitch pattern that's flashing select the carriage which is going to be main carriage uh, do we want all across no you need single motive for this our first motive pattern is going to be the E, which is for a small E is 573, if I'm following that correctly. How many repeats do we want? And I only want one E. And it's asking me where would where do we want to start this? Um, you can accept there's or you work it out taking into account how many stitches there are in each letter and how big a gap you want between the letters i'm just going to accept this because um, it'll strain my brain to work it out at the moment so i'm going to accept that that's going to start on uh, left five there we have there we have the e it's now saying is that the end no it's not because we want to put an n in so we go to Number two, the pattern number for the N is 582. I want one repeat. And it's asking me for the pattern position. Well, it was five plus six, or five minus six, should I say, um, is right one plus four, so right six. I'm going to say right six. And hope that works out all right. It's a little close. We'll go back in to number two. And have it on right ten, I think. See if that looks and that looks a bit better. Um, right, we need to go in now to click across to motive three, which is going to be the N. No, it's not, it's going to be the U. I can't spell my own name backwards. 589. Number of repeats one. And again, it's asking me where do we want to be. We had it on right 10. The U takes up 10, so that will be right 10, uh, right 20, plus 4. I'm going to say right 24. Yeah, that looks reasonable. Obviously, you'd work it out a bit better than I'm doing. And then we want motive 4, which is going to be the capital J which is 552. I only want one of them. Um, where were we? 24 plus 10 is 34 plus 40. I'm going to try write 38. Oh, and that looks vaguely all right. So we'll say yes, that's all right, and then we'll click on end. 
and it seems quite happy with that. Now, if you want to look at it to see what it looks like, go into knitting and you can click across and it's not showing you all of it unfortunately because we, we started on where did we start left five got to put on a pattern var variation to reverse so we'll go in there and it's asking which one and I have to go and find my sheet. As you can see, it's the first one that's flashing in the pattern variation. That is the reverse. So we'll say, yes, we put it on and you put it on by pressing two. And it's highlighted now and there's now pattern variation. So we now come out of that. And we go back to the knitting screen. So that when it actually knits this, it will be the correct way round. Can you see it's changed the J round and the E? So it's reversed it so that when you actually knit it, it on the right side, it should be the right way round. Hope that's okay. Obviously, if you want to put more letters in, um, you carry on up to nine. But don't forget to put the reverse um, variation on or else it still won't come out correctly.